So welcome to this week's um, Q&A section. So we're going to get straight in there and uh, Paul's got a couple of questions that uh, you've asked that he's going to answer. So uh, why does my cake always sink in the middle and how can I, what can I do to prevent this from happening? There's actually loads of different um, situations that this can happen. The, the top two that come to mind is uh, you've been too impatient and you've opened the oven before the cake's actually set. Uh, and you have a wee sneaky peek in and of course the cake just collapses in the middle and then that's that old grunt. So, so you see in the tutorial that I've got for the chocolate cake, I always say leave it for the two hours before you open the oven door. So that's one. The other one is actually putting too much of the raisin agent in the, the cake. So some people get a little bit excited and they think I'll just put some more raisin agent, raisin, rising agent in to get a bit of height. But actually what that does is it puts too much in and then the cake collapses as well. So that's the top two um, solutions for that, that problem. <laughs> Um, the question I'm going to cover is, how do you price a cake in 60 seconds? Um, now, your pricing structure should be a little bit more uh, detailed than this, but if, if you have to price a cake in 60 seconds, I would use what I call the rule of threes. So you should know what your ingredient cost is. So your ingredient cost should be 30% of the overall price that you charge. Now, the, the other 70% is made up through... 30% will be your running costs, um, various things going into that. 30% uh, should be your pay, um, the thing that cake designers always forget to take. And 10% will be your profit or tax. Um, now, when if you're not using these percentages, then the first thing that tends to go is the cake designer's pay. So if I was stuck in a lift, had to price a cake in 60 seconds, and you knew the ballpark ingredient cost. Okay, I'll give you twenty-five pounds. Okay, well, not make it thirty. <laughs> <laughs> no, twenty-five. Oh, okay. Come on, go for it. Hey, so the ingredients so cost that, me twenty-five well, pounds to make that cake. Well, I'd need a calculator. Okay, but, thirty. Uh, then. So that, let's see. Well, a bit, a bit, well, thirty would be hundred. Hundred. Yeah. yeah. So, so twenty-five would be about ninety-three pounds thereabouts. Right. So, that's, so thirty yeah. pounds ingredients equals roughly. Well, up. thirty pounds ingredients would be exactly hundred pounds. Yeah. There yeah, we so there we go. So hopefully that helps, but um, there is an awful lot more that needs to go into competitor analysis and working out how much time you have, where you are on the quality level, etc., etc. But that's a very short, sharp, and um, yeah, non specific answer. <laughs> um, so one of the other questions we've got is um, you know, if you want to shop and you've got displays uh, and uh, it's in the winter. And of course, your, your sugar flowers start to wilt in the window. Uh, how do we get around this? Uh, two options. One, you just don't put sugar flowers during the winter when it's damp. Uh, the second one is a dehumidifier. Um, it's the only way you can really do it. So have a little de dehumid dehumidifier underneath the window and it just sucks all the, the moisture uh, from away from the window. So that's the, the solution for that one. Yeah, nothing worse than floppy flowers. Yeah, floppy itis. There's nothing <laughs> worse. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully that's been helpful and we'll look forward to, to seeing you next week.